20 years ago today, Kip Kinkle opened fire at Thurston High School. Right outside Eugene, flowers adorned the fence there at the school where Kinkle killed two students and wounded 25 others. He had killed his parents also the day before. It was one of the first school attacks to grab national headlines. And today, people who were there that day helped honor the lives that were lost. Today's a chance to pay respect for you know what the school and the community went through and reunite with uh, some other people who were there that day and uh, to share memory with them and uh, have a moment of silence and just be respectful about it. And tonight, a public vigil was held in Springfield. And our Valina Jones was there, spoke with people who were there at the school that day. 20 years after a shooting rocked this community, those that were there are reflecting on the lives that were lost and just how far they've come. 20 years later, it's a little surreal. While the scars have faded, the memory of the lives that were forever altered at Thurston High School still remains. Just to let people know, you know, the ones that were there and my friends that were there, that um, I love them, support them, and that, you know, with, you know, time and love, there can be healing. Healing after remembering the two lives that were lost and 25 others injured on this day in 1998. Flowers, lung embraces, and signs reading Thurston Strong filled a vigil marking a moment that Mother Rebecca Lynn has never forgotten. We've done a lot of therapy over the years. I certainly healed a lot, but I haven't, I don't think I'll ever be able to heal the fracture that's really deep inside my soul. Lynn's daughter Bettina was just I one of the know, injured. Though. I am not beaten. I am not defeated. One of the most important things that has sustained me throughout the years is my plainly stubborn refusal to let the shooter win. Years later, Lynn didn't think so many other students would share this same experience, one she hopes will be less familiar in the next 20 years. This country can and must do better. No one should undergo the suffering that was inflicted upon us and continues to follow us or feel consistently unsafe in the place that they call home. In Springfield, Valina Jones, Coin 6 News. And time marches on. Kip Kinkle is now 35 years old, an inmate at the Oregon Correctional Institution, sentenced to more than 100 years in prison. He will never get out unless a governor commutes his sentence. Now, we did send him a letter to see if he would talk with us. He never wrote back. Kim Body's recent Where We Live details that event, and you can find a link to the story on coin.com.